what we're concerned with here and the mission is for them, uh, as you saw them on the monument, to get up close on some of the tall, slender pieces on these two towers uh, in a due diligence effort to make sure that they are stable uh, so that we can uh, advise the cathedral on when and, and uh, how far back to move the fence line that you see here behind me. The plan is, is that we figured probably two days per tower, um, but again, that's weather dependent. Um, just kind of see how, how things go once we get up there, uh, depending on what kind of damage we're seeing. Um, we're not expecting to see a lot of damage up there, but we'll have to see once we get out onto the wall. I know we've looked at it with binoculars and things, but you know, it's different once you're actually touching it. So, The, the, the Washington Monument is just such a you know, huge historic structure, um, but it's relatively stark while you're up there on the side of the building. There's not a whole lot to look at, and uh, with respect to scale, it's such a tall building, but you really can't see the difference when you're up there looking down. You don't have anything to kind of judge yourself by. Um, this, with uh, all the ornamentation that we're going to be crawling around and, and touching and feeling, just it's more uh, entertaining for us, if you want to say, while we're up there. Um, so it's just a, a different scale for us in both buildings. But.